There are two names out there in the free agent market that fans are salivating over. Mm -hmm. Garrett Cole, Steven Strasburg. How actively and how aggressively will you pursue those guys? I'm not going to talk about anybody in particular, but let me just say that all options are open as far as I'm concerned. Anything that rolls around across my desk, I'm going to be looking at real seriously. You look at where you guys are at with salary right now at about two hundred and twelve million dollars that already puts you over the first luxury tax yeah. threshold the second one sits at two twenty eight there's a third one past that if it meant getting a top of the line starting pitcher would you go over that third tax threshold it's a big deal it's something we would certainly prefer not to do because their draft their you know their june draft ramifications there's a there's numerous ramifications uh... but that is something i would consider all right, so part two of that conversation coming up on Thursday's Yankees Hot Stove. Guys, in the meantime, he says all options are open. And you know there are Yankees fans out there saying, well, look what the Nationals did last year. Look what the Astros did. It was about starting pitching. Do you think based on that, that's changed the philosophy of the Yankees at all? Or are they more about starting pitching but that monster bullpen? Well, baseball is a copycat sport, right, Bob? So you look at what the Nationals and the Astros were able to do in getting to the World Series. They had those strong rotations. And then you listen to what Hal Steinbrenner said said right there he said you can never have enough starting pitching so I think the Yankees are always going to have an eye on their rotation and try and make it as powerful as possible but they're not going to ignore their bullpen their bullpen was one of their biggest strengths last season I don't think that has changed if that's what you're asking me but I also know that they're absolutely trying to improve that rotation that's something that Cashman has been talking about since the middle of last season yeah a few things jumped out to me from that interview with Hal blaming it on the hitters you're saying we're a couple of hits away is the hitting philosophy going to change next year uh, is situational hitting going to be more of an emphasis trying to put the ball in play a little bit more because we saw during the postseason that maybe some of those swings and misses came back to bite the Yankees but I'm a big believer that you got to go out and get a big time starter I think the postseason has shown us with the Nationals and what the Astros did I think the Yankee philosophy is always going to be bullpen first but you can argue during the postseason some of those relievers were overexposed I think you you can protect them a little bit more during the regular season and the postseason. Some of those guys may be a little fatigued, may be a little tired. And he gave Meredith a short answer at the end, but when he was asked about specific players he said all options are open remember if you flash back to last year with Harper and Machado there was always a little bit of a chill between the Yankees and those two free agents to hear Hal Steinbrenner saying all options are open that has to be something that Yankee fans are excited to hear because I am with you John I absolutely believe that the Yankees need to inject a top end of the rotation guy ahead of the Severino or a Tanaka or a Paxton. I'm really disappointed you haven't used the word disciplined yet. <laughs> the Yankees are disciplined, right? That's what you talk about when it comes to free agency. There's going to be a number that they have in mind. If it doesn't work out, they move on.